guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the PlayStation Tester. My name is Maurice. Today, we're going to play Assassin's Creed Origins on PlayStation 5. So it just had a brand new update, the 1.6 version of the game that will bring 60 FPS gameplay to the PlayStation 5 console. But there's a little but. It's still the PlayStation 4 Pro version that we have. So it's just only a FPS boost to the game. But more on that later. Let's dig in. First of all, let's see how much data this game actually is. And that's 53.41 GB on your SSD. Like I said, it's version 1.6 and it's installed on my internal SSD. So let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon only if you want. Of course, I upload almost on a weekly basis, new games, old games, updates on games, and a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Assassin's Creed Origins. I think it came out like four or five years ago, somewhere. So it's pretty neat that they actually updated this game after all these years to be, yeah, benefiting from the new generation of consoles. Um, I think it's also one of the better ones from the last couple of years because, um, yeah, I'm actually a much more of a Ezio. Assassin's Creed player. I love the Ezio trilogy. So, yeah, after that, I was a little bit meh, okay ish with the Assassin's Creed games. But this one, I really love. So, let's go start it up. So, the technical part of this game. First and foremost, it runs at 60 FPS on your PlayStation 5. It is still the PlayStation 4 Pro version. So the game runs at a dynamic resolution around 1440p. So it's not 4K. There's no 4K resolution. It upscales to 4K, but it's still a, yeah, around 1440p. It can go as low as 1300p, somewhere in there, I think 1350p. I will uh, put in the description down below the exact numbers, what it's running on. So, yeah. The game still looks gorgeous, by the way. Uh, it really holds up really, really well. And it's also a very fun game to play. I, I really love it. I'm not that far in the game because, um, yeah, I have to be honest. I <laughs> I bought this uh, this version of the game like uh, what a week ago, a few days ago, because um, one, it was really cheap. It was like only uh, ten euros or something like that, and. Yeah. Boom. And I already had it on my Xbox and really liked the game. So I was actually waiting for the new gen upgrade. And there's my oven. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that, heard that but yeah. You will definitely notice the game not running at a resolution of 4K or at least in the range of 4K. So I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but I really was expecting a native port on the PlayStation 5, you know, with, with, with dual sense controls and stuff, but none of that. It's just the PlayStation 4 Pro version. 
It's it's a little bit like what they did with um, God of War and The Last of Us 2. So it's a, uh, yeah, FPS boost update. You can almost say it's like a... Uh, <laughs> Like a, uh, what's it called? Um, smart delivery, what, what Xbox has. And to be fair, I hope more games will get a update like this. You know, games like Bloodborne are, are um, uh, the, the Order 1886. These games should get a... A FPS boost, just, just like this. If 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 Ubisoft can do it, then yeah, then then Sony and themselves could do it really easily. Let's be honest. This is gorgeous. You know why I like this version because I l freaking love Egypt. I've been to Egypt a few times already and um, yeah I just love it there it's such a beautiful country it's such nice people also and uh, yeah there's so much history in this country oh my goodness I even been into the the, the pyramids of Giza yes yeah, to, to see them back here in this game yeah that's that's quite amazing Let's head that way. I think that's a little bit too much because I'm like level two or so. It does still have a little bit of uh, motion blur. I wish they had an option to put motion blur on or off. That would be cool if they could do that in the future. But next to that, I have nothing to complain. It's a really cool game. You can get it for like really cheap. But yeah, really cheap. And if you never played it, yeah, it's an amazing playthrough. And that first time when you go down the, the pyramids of Gise, oh my goodness, that looked so great. And this game holds up super, super well. Grandfather. <gasps> mummies. Hello, mummies. What's this? It has been too long, son. Really, really amazing. And the good thing about this is if you have a external SSD or hard drive, you can still play this game optimized at 60 fps on your external hard drive so you don't need to install this game on your internal hard drive so that's also pretty cool because yeah let's be honest the the the, the playstation 5 has like what 
800 GB and 600 in total what you can use. Something like that. So in this game is still like 50, uh, 50 GB. So it's pretty uh, cool to actually... Use that space for other games. But yeah, you guys, this is Assassin's Creed Origins running on a PlayStation 5 with 60 FPS. And um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Go check it out. You guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. And I hope to see you soon in another one. Bye.